coming up next, we have an interview with the incredible Steve Morse, who has just recorded a new album with Flying Colors called Second Nature. Welcome to the show, Steve. It's great to speak to you. Congratulations on a great new album. The opening song, Open Up Your Eyes, is an incredible, beautiful piece of music that clocks in over 12 minutes. It really takes the listener on such a great journey. Tell us about the writing and recording of that piece. Well, thank you. The opening piece, Open Up Your Eyes, we knew from the beginning that that was going to be a long piece. It's sort of in the Prague tradition of an epic it doesn't have to be a three minute single. So we, we've got all kinds of mood, moods and uh, build. I guess the song part of it is. Really sort of a beetle, kind of upbeat. Conglomeration of everybody's ideas. Neil and I can always string together stuff. Casey always comes up with great ideas, and Mike never is at a loss for an opinion about which way we should go with it. So it, it was just just flowed naturally. It goes through a lot of tempo changes, which probably something I wouldn't do by myself I was writing a tune on a computer and developing it from there but live we just naturally did a lot of tempo changes One Love Forever almost has a Celtic approach that adds a lot of depth to the album it actually did begin as Casey and I just goofing off with a, a sort of uh, Appalachian style which is very related to it, you know, Celtic folk stuff that we know which is like something like this <laughs> It's sort of a uh, Emerson like a palm type of organ line over that really, you know, it brings that, a strange fusion to it. And uh, so we go from that lilting three or six feel to straight four for the uh, chorus. <laughs> typical for flying cars. At least one tempo or time signature change in the song. And, but it, it, I think it works pretty naturally. This lineup has such an amazing family tree of rock heritage associated with it. Can you share with our viewers who's in the band and how you guys got together in the first place? The Flying Colors lineup actually started in several stages. First Bill Evans, came to me with the idea of actually writing with Carrie Livgren and Neil Morse and doing sort of an epic prog project with accessible singing and melodies and stuff so that more people would hear it. And Carrie had a, uh, actually a major health problem at the time and couldn't participate. So we got together Neil Morse and I. And Neil Morse has the exact same last name as I. As far as we know, we're not immediately related. But I knew of his music and he knew of my music. And we thought it'd be great to write together. And it sure was. We just got together and instantly things happened. We had so much material from that first meeting. So I said, Boy, I've got the perfect bass player for whatever we're going to do, Dave Lou. And he said, I got the perfect drummer. I've been using for a lot of things. Uh, Mike Porton, I said, I know him. So we, we had four fifths of the band and we got together, all of us, and talked about who would be the singer. 
and we decided we want somebody that was a songwriter and you know could play some instruments as well. Casey plays guitar, keyboards, and sings and writes, lyrics, and nowadays everything. So it was perfect. And Casey was kind of from a different genre of music than this whole prod heavy duty thing, but he was just has the creative open mindedness that allowed us to all get back, to, you know, to, to mix it all up together. 